Hi guys, this is Loris and in today's video we're gonna go through how I managed to earn more than $1,000 with my music independently without a record label thanks to DistroKid. For the ones who don't know me, I'm Loris, I'm the singer of the band Ultraviolence and uh, we've been a band since 2009, we've been doing this for a long time and we've always been signed to record labels. Recently, one year ago, I decided that I wanted my band to be an independent band because I found services like DistroKid that allows you to put your music out there and promote your music and earn from your music without the need of a record label. So what's DistroKid? It's a distribution service. Thanks to DistroKid you can put your music on streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Deezer and pretty much every single one you can think of. I can actually show you. This is the DistroKid website, this is the dashboard. You can see the songs that I uploaded so far. It's four songs. One of them is a cover, so you can also upload covers and they're gonna take care of all the copyright issues and bureaucratic stuff for you. The other three songs are three singles that we recently released. If you go here on upload, here's where you can upload your songs. As you can see, they go to Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, pretty much everywhere. So this is what DistroKid essentially is. But there are other services like DistroKid. It's not the only distribution service that you can find. There are other big platforms like CD Baby or TuneCore. But why did I choose DistroKid? Well, guys, when I decided to go independent, I spent countless hours and probably a week of my time going through YouTube videos, going through blogs and I started reading and listening to everything I could find because I wanted to choose the best distributor for my band. If you're searching for a distributor, just sign up to this okay. Don't waste one week of your time like I did. I already did that for you so that you can listen to me and sign up to this okay. I'm not paid by them to do this. I'm just avoiding you to waste your time because I think for the majority of artists, this is the best choice. I'm gonna explain to you why in a second. Usually the other distribution companies like CD Baby or TuneCore, they make you pay once for every release that you put out. Something like $20 for a song or $50 for an album. Other than that, they're gonna keep a percentage on your earnings. It's around 10% if I remember correctly. Whereas with DistroKid, you pay an yearly fee that can be $20 or $30. It depends on the plan you decide to use. And then you can upload as many songs and albums as you want, and you can keep all your earnings you have 100% of your earnings, they don't keep any percentage. So that's why I decided to sign up to DistroKid because if my track is gonna make 1 million stream, I don't wanna give 10% of those earnings to the distributor, I wanna keep them myself because I'm gonna already have to split those earnings with my producer and the songwriters of the song, so I don't wanna split it with another party. So if you sign up for DistroKid, you can choose between three different plans. There is the Musician, the Musician Plus, and the Label. I went with the Musician Plus, and I'm gonna explain to you why in a second. So with the Musician Plan, you spend $20 per year, and you can manage one artist or band. You can upload unlimited songs, be verified on Spotify. The problem is that you don't have some services that I think that are really important that you have in the Musician Plus. That's why I chose that one. So with the Musician Plus, you spend $35 per year. You can manage more than one. You can manage two artists. Let's say you have two bands, you can use this Musician Plus to manage both bands. You can upload unlimited songs like the other one. You can have Spotify verified. Sync lyric for Instagram, which is cool. Uh, you can practically upload the lyrics and sync them with the song so that when you when you share the song on Instagram, you can have the lyrics going along with the song on time. It's really cool if you want to share your music on, on social media. The really important thing that you can do with this plan is that you can decide your release date. That's something that you cannot do with the musician plan. With the musician plan, you put the music on and you wait for it to go online on Spotify or iTunes and each one of them takes a different amount of time to make the release available on their platform. With the Musician Plus, you can decide, I want my song to be live August 20. And if you set that date in advance, you can have all the platforms releasing your song in that date. And it's important if you already have a fan base and you want to really make an impact on that single date, 
Otherwise, let's say that you're uh, like a band that has an album that came out three years ago and it's not on Spotify yet. So in that case, you might want to start with the musician plan. Put your album on, on the streaming platforms. You don't care about the release date because the album is already been released three years ago and you can start earning from the album. And then when you write new songs and you want to set a release date, you can change your plan and go to the musician plus and you can decide the release date and keep the new plan for the next songs that you're gonna release. The label plans, I don't think it's something that you might need. It's something more for the labels. It's pretty much everything you have in the Musician Plus and the fact that you can manage more than five artists and band names. So if you're a label, you wanna release music for different artists, you can set up five Spotify artist pages and stuff like that. From my experience, the Musician Plus works very well for what I had to do. I never needed something more. Uh, if you don't need to set up the release date, you can use the Musician Plan. But setting up the release date is also very important for the playlist pitch for Spotify. Very important thing if you want to scale your streams, if you want to really earn money with your music. But we can talk about that later. There's so many things to talk about. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I'm going to make some different videos about this. If you're interested in these kind of things, please leave a comment and let me know what would you like to know. Because I've been studying this stuff for more than one year. I know a lot of things. I cannot put them all in one video. This video is about DistroKid. But if you want to end up on a Spotify playlist. If you wanna know more about the strategies between the releases, let me know in the comments. So with that said, if you wanna subscribe to DistroKid and choose one of these two plans, you can use the link that I have in the description below and have a 7% discount on your first year. This is something, I mean, I'm not working for DistroKid again. This is something that you get by subscribing to DistroKid. You're gonna get a referral link that you can use to invite your friends to DistroKid and give them a 7% discount. So if you guys wanna subscribe right now, use the link down below. And again, I wouldn't be making a video suggesting you to use DistroKid if I haven't tried it for almost a year myself and find out that it's like a life-changing platform. So I'm doing this because I believe in this platform and I think that more musicians should drop their record label and start using this platform instead. So another thing I can show you about DistroKid is that the interface is very easy and super user-friendly. Like this is the last song we released, the end. I can open the song menu and I can see everything. Here is where you can upload your lyrics and you can sing them. Here you can see how I'm splitting the earnings between me and our producer Joaquim. The cool thing about DistroKid that no other distribution platform does is that you can set up the splits automatically. So let's say you and your bass player brought the song, you wanna split the earnings between you and him. You can go here on edit splits and you can decide where the money goes and they're gonna calculate it automatically. Otherwise, you need to take the money, divide them and give them to each one of your band members. And you can imagine if you have like 50 songs uploaded and each one of the songs is written by different people, it kind of gets a little messy and you don't want to have to deal with that. Oh, and another really cool important feature that DistroKid has is the hyperfollow page. I, I mean, you can you have so many goodies here. I don't, I'm not even gonna go through them right now because you can literally create mini videos, promo cards, social pictures to share on your Instagram. But the most important one is the hyperfollow. It's practically this page. I, I'm sure you already seen something like that. In the link in bio of your favorite artist, they put this. So this is for our last song. This will create one for each one of your release you have the cover artwork you have your social links i put my youtube video for the song on top and you have all the links to the streaming platforms so you put this on your link in bio on instagram you tell the people new song is out link in bio they open link in bio they find this which looks really cool and professional they can go onto your other socials and they decide where to listen to the song this is really cool i've i've been using this non-stop but let's talk about the earnings. How does it work? As you can see here, I managed to make more than $1,000 in six months. They have a three month delay in reporting your sales, 
But you know what? That's a lot less than, than a record label. Like I remember when we were on a record label, we would get the reports every six months, but with an year of delay, one year. You can see the breakdown by service here. So you can see how the different services are making you money. And I can tell you Spotify is where the money is at. You can see that the majority of them, like 99% of them are earned through Spotify. Some of them are earned through iTunes and Apple Music, $10 from YouTube Red, nothing else, honestly, a few cents here and there. But the platform you need to really focus on is Spotify. You may be wondering, how much do I earn from every single stream on Spotify? So essentially, you make around $4 every thousand streams on Spotify because each one of the streaming services has a different way to pay the artists. Actually, iTunes and Apple Music pay a little more than Spotify, but Spotify is so much more used. So let's say you made 1000 streams, you get $4, kinda. Like it can be 3.90 or 4.10, it's an estimate. If you make 100,000 streams, you make $400 you can calculate in advance how much you made so i know that even if the last three months are not reported yet i know more or less how much i made in the last three months by looking at the streams on spotify this is really cool because you get to keep this money you don't have to split them with a label and you have them with a three months delay which is nothing this was life-changing for a band like us it's not that we can live off that actually we spent a lot more money to release this music to make videos to mix the songs to write the songs but this is really cool because we didn't have that before when we were with a record label not this quick and not this much because we needed to split the money with them and we didn't have full control on our releases like i can literally choose the release date myself you can have your uh, spotify for artists page this is our spotify for artists page it's a page in which you can see all the stats from your Spotify profile. You can pretty much see all the streams that you're making, the listeners that you have, where they are coming from. The majority of them, for us, 54% of them are coming from the Spotify playlist. And uh, you can see their gender, you can see their age, you can see the artists that are similar to you, you can see the places where your listeners are listening from. You can also modify your profile by coming here in the profile tab and you can change your, your picture, you can set your artist peak. You also can modify the about section with your pictures, with your Instagram, Twitter and Facebook links, with your bio. This is something that's really important for the Spotify editors. People that work at Spotify that decides which songs go into their official playlists. Probably the most important thing that you can do with Spotify for Artists is the pitch to the playlist. So when you set up your release on DistroKid and I suggest you to set it up something like four weeks before the release date, usually it takes three days, one week maximum to get on Spotify. Once it gets on Spotify, it's not released yet. Only you can see it from the Spotify for Artists platform and you can see it on the upcoming releases. Now, I don't have songs coming out, but if you put a song on DistroKid, after a few days you, could, you can see it here in this tab. And from this tab, you can pitch it to the Spotify editors so that they can consider putting it on an official playlist. And we got official playlist placements pretty much since we started being independent, which is crazy, because you would think, okay, those playlists are made for the signed artists. No, they choose the music that is good. They choose the music that is relevant. So it doesn't matter if you're signed or not. And that's the really cool thing. Practically getting into a big Spotify playlist Playlist, it's even better than going on the radio. Some of these playlists have millions of listeners. With our latest release at the end, we got into three official playlists. And one of them is Adrenaline Workout, and it's one of the biggest rock metal playlists on the platform. You can see more than one million likes. And we are here with our song, 
in the middle of gigantic artists and weird uh, unsigned band from Italy. People that listen to it, if they listen to it while they work out, they hear our song and they're like, oh, this is a nice song. Then the second time that they go into the gym, they put the playlist on again and they stumble upon our song again and they're like, oh, I know this song, I already heard it, it's cool. Maybe the third time they find it and they listen to it, they go onto our profile and they start following us. And then they see that we have other songs and they try to listen to them. Maybe if they like them, they go down here and they open our bio and they see that we have a Facebook and Instagram page and they start following us. That's how you get fans from Spotify and how you get discovered on the playlists. Maybe a thousand people that listen to it are not gonna go and start following you. Maybe one every thousand people is gonna do that. But at the same time, you get a lot of streams. You can go here on playlists and you can see that in the last 24 hours, we had 1,600 streams from the new core playlist almost 700 streams for the Adrenaline Workout playlist and 400 streams from the New Metal Tracks playlist. It's like 2,500 streams in one day coming from the playlist. If you think about what I said before, $4 every thousand streams, it's something like $10 in one day, thanks to this playlist. Imagine doing that every day. It's super important, guys. So you can do this by signing up to DistroKid. This is doable, this is doable. Like, if I'm doing it, you can do it as well. You just need to put some effort into it. And you can ask me anything. If you have some doubts, if you want to subscribe to DistroKid but you're not sure about it, if you have some questions, please leave them down below in the comment section or contact me on Instagram. You can search Loris Castilla on Instagram. You can contact me. We can, we can even hop into a call, talk about it. I'm here to help. I've not been helped by the music industry, I can say. I needed to find my ways. I needed to make my researches and make it work for me. But I can help you if you need help. I have so many things to say about this stuff that I don't know when to stop. But I think I'm gonna make different videos for every single thing. For now, this was just a presentation of the DistroKid platform. It was just also a celebration of the fact that I crossed my first $1,000 thanks to my music as an independent artist. Thanks to DistroKid as well, which has been really good for me in the last six months. I suggest you to subscribe. I suggest you to use the 7% discount link in my description all right guys that's it for today i hope it was useful for you thank you for watching and see you next time